This is part two in a video series that we are working on about volume profiles. Our goal is to show you how to use them, how to dive in, understand their settings, create alerts with them, and research markets. So what we're first going to do is remove these volume profiles from this chart, go up to our indicators and strategies menu, select volume profiles, and then dive into the volume profiles that this video is about, session volume and session volume HD, how they're different, how they can be used. In video one, we talked about fixed range volume profile. So if you wanna learn about fixed range, please go and watch that video, but let's dive in. We're going to add session volume and session volume HD to our chart. We don't normally recommend adding both of these at the same time. We clicked them to add them though, because we want to show you how they are different and how they can be used. So what we're first going to do is we're going to hide the session volume HD. So VP volume profile, session volume HD. VP volume profile, session volume, this is normal. We're gonna hide HD at first, HD high definition. We'll tell you why it's called that, let's click hide. So session volume has now been added. So session volume is a very important volume profile tool for those who are intraday traders, those who are studying volume at a granular level, those who wanna see volume say on a one minute time frame. You are watching price on a small time frame and you wanna see what's happening in the day what levels are attracting the most volume and where the action is happening. You could even say do 30 minutes. And here is a 30 minute session volume profile. So that is what a session volume profile is. It's showing you a single session. This is a full session of trading. In the equity world, that would be one day. So it's from the open at 9.30 a.m. ET down to the close at 4 p.m. ET, and that is the volume profile, session volume view. Let's go to, how about about uh, 15 minutes, because these volume profiles that study the session are really helpful, actually on smaller time frames because of the detail that they show you. So as we do in every video, we talk about the difference between a session volume profile or a volume profile in general and normal volume bars. Remember, these volume bars at the bottom tell you how much volume occurred at a specific time. So as you can see, this was 1030, 1045, 11, 1115. This is how much volume occurred at a specific time in the day. The volume profile or the session volume here shows you how much volume occurred at a specific price. So it is another way to visualize price and volume at the same time and to get a great feel for where all the trading activity is happening. Where are buyers transacting and selling at? Where are they buying at? Where is the most volume for less slippage or tighter spreads? Well, you can see that on an intraday time frame using these volume profile indicators. Okay, let's dive in deep here. We are going to remove the traditional volume to keep your focus on this volume profile. Okay, now, as you notice, changing your time frame, you will see the session volume profile dynamically change to match your time frame. And so now this is a three minute chart that we've changed it to. So every bar is three minutes of trading. And this, these are the volume bars showing us how much price, I mean, how much volume occurred at each price level. So if we hover our mouse over this 49.33 area, and it sort of starts, this bar starts at 50 and goes down to 49.85-ish, we can actually see up here at the top the exact volume that occurred at that price level. So if you look, it says, you'll see it says 2 million, 2 million for a total of 5 million, 2.5 million, 2.3 million, 2.8 million, and a total of 5.2 million. 
And this is key to know exactly what levels are attracting the most volume. Or you can also zoom back in time and get a feel for what areas mattered in the past in different sessions. So now you can see this is one day of trading, another day of trading, another day of trading, another day of trading. And you can get a feel for what the trend is just by examining this. Is this red line the point of control going up in each session? So do buyers have control? Is there a buying aspect here? You could just see actually the point of control from this day is rising in each session. That's fairly interesting to know. Or if you're looking for an intraday trade, you could sort of get a sense of which way is the trend going and is price at all going to snap back to this point of control. These are all the different ways you can use this indicator. We're just showing you the different ways to visualize it. So now what we like to do in these videos is dive into the exact settings of the session volume profile. So you can go ahead and double click and this will open up your settings. So you have inputs, style, and visibility. We'll go through each of these. In every video of this series, we're going to go into the settings because it is so important to know the settings of a of volume profile so that you can craft them and design them to your exact needs. And the inputs of each volume profile in this video series and the style uh, vary. So there are different things you can do with each volume profile tool. Let's get started. And by the way, just to visualize this one more time, this is September 14th. So let's do September 14. This is the 13th. September 13. And this is going to be September 10th. There was a weekend in between. That explains the date skip. And the reason why we wanted to, why we wrote down these dates is because we really want you to realize that this is measuring individual trading sessions. It is really looking into the day, the activity of each day, and breaking out that volume by price as a volume profile for you to see. 10th, 13th, 14th. You kind of get the feel for it. Now let's open up the settings and we can change the rows, rows layout. So how are the rows being calculated? Is it just a number of rows that is defined by our row number? Or is it by ticks per row? It depends on you, the trader. Number of rows is the default. If you don't know what a tick is, they, there's no reason to use this option then. You should stick to number of rows because number of rows is defined by you. For example, you could do 100 rows and it quickly gets smaller and more granular. So the point of doing number of rows would be how compact or how detailed do you want the volume profile to be for this session? If you're looking for something smooth, you just want to get a general feel for where the most price vault price ha where the most volume happened at each price, you could do something like 5 or even 10 and it shows much bigger bars here. It's aggregating the data in larger quant in a, in a, in a bigger uh, price range or if you wanted to get detailed you could do say 50 and now you're going to get smaller bars that are showing you the price aggregated by uh, tighter price levels or smaller ranges of each price level you're getting 50 bars here so let's go back to 20 and now the next option for you is volume so this refers to the blue and yellow bars here. This is one of the most commonly asked questions. If we go to style, you'll see there is a value area up, value area down, up volume, down volume. The blue means up volume, so price going up on a trade. You know, it's higher than the last trade. Down volume means price going down on a trade. It's down on the last trade. So you can choose to see this. Do you want to see up volume and down volume? So let's just change this to total. And now you see a total a bar that shows the total amount of volume traded. It doesn't matter if it was if price was higher or lower than the last trade. But if you do up and down, now you can break out the volume by how much of that volume was trending down or trending upward. 
essentially, you know, you're splitting it in half or to some degree, whether it's a quarter of it, it's going to show you that this was that this in this zone there was actually more down volume. Price was trending down in this zone as opposed to up. There were more trades happening downward than going upward. And then of course there's value area. So the value area, if you look closely, you'll see that some bars are faded. They're not as easy to see. Some have a darker, more visible color. That's because you get to define the value area. What area of the volume profile do you want to focus on? Show us the area of this volume profile where the most volume happened. So think of it as a percentage. If you did 20%, see how small that gets? We just want to see 20% of where the most volume occurred with this point of control. If you did 100, well, that would just show you volume everywhere. It's 100. Show me all of the volume and make it evident and easy to see. In this case, we want to stick to about 90. Or actually, now that we're walking you through this example, we realize that shows too much. We want to narrow this down. And this is the same process that you can do. You can get a look and a feel for what you're trying to accomplish that fits your needs, your style, your design, whatever it is that your goals are. You can go into the settings and do exactly what we're doing to build a volume profile to do better research and to study markets. Extend POC right. Very, very unique tool here. You can see now the point of control shoots across the chart. And we will talk about the point of control very shortly and why this matters. But the point of control, if you remember, is the price level that attracted the most trading volume or where the most trading volume occurred. So you can extend this POC across the chart and instantly create some supply and demand levels or some support and resistant levels to watch. How cool is this? This was the point of control on September 9th. And if you look here, price today actually broke through its point of control, went down, hit this, bounced as a perfect level of support, but it eventually cut back down through. But it's something to take note of and to show you how you can extend these intraday point of controls across the chart. This is a tool that is absolutely worth exploring because you can now create these levels based on price points that attracted the most volume in a single session. It's fairly unique. You will not see it often, but now you know that it's possible. Let's open up our settings, uncheck this box. And now let's go to style. And what we can do now, obviously, is we can choose to hide or show the volume. If we wanted to show the values, we could. We can also control the width or percentage of the box. So what does this mean? Well, watch these bars if we change it to 100. It now extends across the entire session. Watch them if we change it to 5. It's now barely, barely noticeable. So this is a design tool for you to make the perfect session volume profile. You can also choose to put it on the right or the left. Some people actually prefer to have it on the right side simply because here's your price scale. You can sort of get a quicker view of it. So you can place it on the right side. We'll keep it to the left for now. Now the most important aspect, a question we hear, hear all the time. What are these blue and yellow bars? In this video, we talked about it briefly earlier. In the whole video series that we're making, we will explain this so you can even watch video one to learn more or video three. We talk about it in each video because it's so commonly asked and it's good to understand. This is up volume and down volume. This is up volume and down volume, but for the value area. If you recall, we defined our value area at 60. So this area that's you know easier to see, it's darker, it's more transparent, it falls within our range of 60. Remember, if we had done 100 or 100%, 100 show us everything. We said 60. We want to focus in on the most important value area. This area of volume, we believe, is what we want to see on every session volume. It's at 60, 60% 60 of all the volume traded. Think of it in that manner or the area where 60% of the volume is concentrated. 
So if we hit style here, we can now change the color of this. So remember, the value area is up, so it's this darker blue. What if we were to change this, say, to purple? See, it changed purple. So now up volume, the aspect where a trade was higher than the previous trade is up volume. It's a trade that occurred higher. Or down volume, let's say, let's make it orange. Now we see this is down volume. And you can customize these volume profiles so specifically that you can have the value areas as defined by this 60 different than the zones that are outside of your value area. So we could even just make this, you know, we could make it disappear and really make it, we can make it white so it kind of fades off the chart and not focus on it. But let's undo all of that and keep it back to its normal way. Let's take this back to 60. And now we see blue is up volume, yellow is down volume. And if you really you know, dive into this chart, what's interesting is you can see at this point of control, so remember, follow these indicator numbers here. Watch, watch what these indicator numbers say. So we're hovering over. At the top left, up here, it says up volume 2.8 million, down volume 3.2 million. And sure enough, what happened when price actually came back through here again? It just cratered. And perhaps that's because during all of this trading, there was actually more pressure downward than upward. And that's one way to examine or research this. Remember, these tools are created for you to perform this level of analysis on a, on a session volume profile. So that is up volume and down volume, and you can see them up here. The different colors tell you. There's yellow, 3.2 million, so that's down volume. Red, or the blue, 2.89 million, that's up volume. And this gray, you'll see it's kind of hard to see. We can change the color, but you'll see it adds them together. That's 6.1 million, so a ton of shares were traded there. Now, Diving into the next steps, we're going to open up settings. Your point of control, we said we would talk about this more in more detail. Point of control is the point on the chart, the price range that had the most trading volume. So if you look, this bar is the biggest bar in the bunch, and that's your point of control. At about $50, it attracted the most trading volume, and the point of control runs across the chart. Point of control runs across the chart. It's this red line. It's where the most trading volume happened in the area that you are studying. And if you double click, you can change everything about your point of control, including its color, its look, its feel, its design, dash lines. You can hide it or show it. You can see we've made it blue now. And you can even check out your developing point of control. And the developing point of control is fairly unique because the developing point of control shows you how the point of control developed over time. So this is point of control developing over time as new information comes in. You can see earlier in the day it was actually at $50.55. But then new trading activity happened and it dropped to 50.15. Then new trading activity and it dropped to 50.06. And then as the day went on, there was never enough volume to actually change the point of control again. Price moved so fast down, there was not even enough time to find a new level that attracted as much volume as this level did earlier in the day. So you're watching it develop over time. That is the difference between point of control and developing point of control and what's kind of unique about this, and we'll change this actually to a solid line so you can visualize it better, is you can get a sense of if the point of control as it developed over time, was it dropping? Or what's equally cool, was it rising? So look at September 10th. The, the developing point of control, this red line, was actually climbing throughout the day. And it eventually ended up here higher than where it started. Follow this red line to watch it develop over time as new information came in. So that is the developing point of control. Let's go back to our settings. Developing value area 
This is, if you recall, remember, our value area. What area of the chart do we want to focus on? Where did most of the volume happen? 60? Remember, 100 shows the whole chart. What if we had selected 30? It shrinks the area that we're focusing on. Where did most of this volume happen? Sort of what percentage around where the point of control is did all of the volume occur? And you can see now the value area developing over time. Let's go back to our, let's go back to 60. And why is this important? Because you can see how these bands expand and they are developing as new data comes in. In fact, you can see the lower band of the value area really widened over time as new price information came in. And it eventually settled the day all the way down here at 48.50, even though it actually started up here in the 50s. See this blue line? It kind of jets in here started in the 50s and as price dropped it widened and widened and widened so you can study the supply and demand dynamics on an intraday level looking at the value area and the point of control at this much detail so we hope that this video is really helping you understand the settings aspect of this tool so now we want to talk about the volume profile session volume which we just went over and now volume profile session volume HD so right now we're showing you both tools and we're gonna do a quick exercise and we're going to hide one and then hot and then show it again and hide the other hide it unhide it hide the other one so you see how they are fundamentally two different tools do you see how different they look now you're looking at session volume HD and now you're looking at session volume. So session volume HD is different than session volume because it is granular and it's dynamic. It changes as your chart changes. It is fast to adjust. It calculates. It's for those who really want to zoom in at the most granular level of price action. To really show this, we'll go to a one minute chart. We'll zoom out to get the whole session in. So you can see here this session volume HD is about as detailed as you can get in terms of minute by minute trading activity and watch as we zoom out the colors change the thickness changes more days are shown we can continue to zoom out and this is our session volume HD and as we really zoom out you can see it dynamically adjusted again to make it easier on the eyes so you see this, how it looks here, and watch as we zoom in. It gets more and more detailed. So this is very, very important for those who are studying the intraday price action. Perhaps you are making trades by the minutes, by the seconds. You might even be a market maker. You might be someone who's just trying to do additional research into daily trading activity. Well, this is one way you can get a very granular look. We double click and if you see here the settings menu is quite different than the other settings menus but th because that's because the tool is so much different it's a volume profile high definition tool meant to see as much detail as possible where price and volume come in contact where you can see them at the same time what price level attracted the most volume it looks like it once again about fifty dollars a share and if you have a huge monitor, this tool is particularly powerful because on your monitor, you can make this full screen and really have fun zooming in on it. And you can kind of see what we're doing here. We see these really slender bars coming across the chart and it's just giving us as much data as possible. Let's zoom out a little more to make it clear. Let's get the whole session in our view. Let's get this session let's see and there's the full session in view double click to open settings once again up down or total it's up to us you cannot do ticks as you noticed on the session volume your value area same as we discussed what area do you want to highlight a hundred will show you everything 10 would only show you this area around the point of control we've been saying percentage think of it as a 10 percent of of the value of or of the volume that you want to focus on let's do let's do 55 for the sake of this chart 
Let's go to style. Once again, developing point of control, developing value area high, developing value area low. So what's pretty cool about the volume profile session volume is unlike the other volume profile indicators, you can actually choose if you just want to see the developing value area low or the developing value area high. And the difference there is the high would be the value area that's going up, that's above the point of control, whereas the developing value area low is going down, it's below the point of control. And we spoke about what developing means. It's, it's how it developed over time, how new price information changed it. You can see the last few trades here in the day really widened it out because of the volume that came in down here. It expanded the value area. Let's double click to reopen the settings. We'll hide these for now. The percentage of the box, remember 100. It will make the box as wide as possible. It's up to you. Go back to 30. Your placement, right or left. Once again, up to you. And of course, your value area. So you can customize this as needed. So you can choose to show or hide your value area. You can also make this 100, so make this go across the chart, or 30, left or right. And the Session Volume HD is extremely granular in the fact that you can actually customize, unlike the other volume profile indicators, you can totally customize your value area from the volume profile outside the value area. So if we uncheck this, now you're just focusing on the value area. If we uncheck the value area, now we're just focusing on this volume profile area. So this is particularly important if you're looking for that level of customization. Once again, it's why it's called HD and why it gives you more customizations in the settings menu than the other volume profiles. So you could even say, let's make this go, let's make this 10, see how small this got, and let's make this 100 because this is the most important. This is our value area. It's what we care about. So now you've created a really dynamic, different looking, customized session volume HD for your needs. But let's make sure that we have this back to how it was. And this we can stick to, what was it at? It was at 30, perfect. You can change the text color of the values that are shown, your point of control. And of course, the histogram box, if you want to change the color, whether it's easier or harder to see, or if you don't want any background, maybe you don't want any opacity, people will keep the this box at least showing some color so that you know what area you're examining, what session it is. So this box shows you the session for this full day. Let's open up these settings again, and that is the settings for the volume profile session volume and how it's different from a regular session volume. Let's just go through this exercise again because it really shows the difference. See these bars? They're, 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 they're smoother, they're larger, they aggregate more price. They stay the same. They do not adjust at all depending on your visual, whether you're zoomed in or not. And of course your settings are much uh, easier to understand, they're not as complex, not as many customizations. And if you hide this and then open Session Volume HD, as you zoom out, you can see the bars dynamically change their colors, their look, easier to see. You can zoom in and it will get a little more granular. You can see how it changed there. You can change the time frame back to five minutes and it will also adjust as needed. And of course, once again, if you open up the settings, you have additional opportunities to customize this to your need. Once again, Session Volume HD is quite complex and is for people looking for the most granular data, trade by trade, tick by tick, perhaps a one minute chart, you get the idea. So that is in our indicators and strategies menu, volume profiles, Session Volume and Session Volume HD. We tried to make this tutorial as in-depth as possible. We hope it helps you make better decisions, study data on an intraday time frame, to see what's happening minute by minute, second by second. If you wanted to even do, say, a 30-second chart, 
it would work. This is now you're really, really studying uh, price at a extremely detailed level. This is a 30 second chart with a session volume profile HD showing. So you can see where the most volume is happening at. Or if you're looking for something just a little more simple and easier to use, you have your normal session volume. Now, as a quick example, if you did manage to watch this whole video, which, by the way, would be so impressive, 30 minutes of a detailed walkthrough of your volume profiles, your session volume, and session volume HD, well, we're just going to show you a few ways to possibly use this. As we showed you earlier, you could choose, you could choose, let's actually use this. And let's open up the settings here to extend your point of controls and use them as support and resistance across the chart or just to find new detailed, uh, you know, new, new levels that you previously may not have seen before. So this is a 45 minute chart. Now look at all of these point of controls extended across the chart going back even to April. And that is fairly unique in the sense that you're now getting these support and resistance levels not based on drawings, not based on uh, indicators or anything of the sort. It's entirely based on the total trading volume of a specific session and the price level in that session that got or attracted or caused the most buyers and sellers to transact. So this is some unique data that then you could start to use for part anything that you're really interested in. It depends if you're a swing trader, long-term investor, or a day trader. It just might help you get a better feel for where the volume is from it, uh, a past intraday perspective. Let's zoom back in on this 45-minute chart and show you a few more ways to use these tools. Another example is maybe this point of control has your attention. So what you could do is draw a horizontal line, right click, add an alert, and you could create a custom alert to get notified when price hits this level. You could also, if you were trading more on a minute by minute time frame, you could open up this session and perhaps say that this the low of the session attracted very little volume and maybe this causes you concern and so if price breaks this low with very little volume you could right click add an alert crossing down or moving down or say it's a certain percentage moving down let's do crossing down and you could say stop loss if you were long and now you would get a message that says stop loss and you could write a custom message here as well. Notified on the app, pop up, email, click create. And this is okay. This is just a note you get depending on a linear scale or logarithmic scale. Click continue anyway. And you'll see this alert icon. It's now been created. And now you know when this intraday level is broken because you don't trust the lack of volume there. Maybe it shows that there's some slippage or buyers are not coming in like you thought. Well, you get an alert and you can get out, or maybe it's an opportunity to buy the dip. Depends on your own research, but that's an example of what you could also do. We'll delete that. So we appreciate you watching this video. Remember, this is part two of a three-part series. We have three videos in this series. Make sure you watch them all if you are trying to study and learn as much as possible about volume profiles. Thanks for watching.